Okay, I want you to repeat after me. If it's in my kitchen, I will eat it. That's right. Let's say it one more time. If it is in my kitchen, I will eat it. So the next two days is going to be a kitchen clean out. We're going to get all this stuff that we shouldn't be eating out of our kitchen, like literally throw it away. Laura and I did it. Bags of chips, ice cream, stuff. I've got a list for you. Check the list. But if it's in my kitchen, I will eat it. So we got to throw it out. Now, if you just can't bear to throw out a $5 bag of chips and it just kills you, take all this crap, put it in a garbage bag, tie it up, and like go stick it in the attic or something. Because if it's in my kitchen, I will eat it. So get it out of the house because when things aren't in our kitchen, now we have like a barrier to getting it. So like maybe you just break down, you gotta have that ice cream. You, got, you know, for me, it's an M&M blizzard. Gotta have it, I can't, I can't go anymore. Well, at least now you gotta get in the car, you gotta drive down to the store, you gotta buy it, you gotta drive back, and now you gotta eat it. You can't just walk over the fridge or walk over the pantry and grab it. So we're just gonna create a barrier of entry. And this is gonna be a good lesson for life carry it going for it beyond this challenge but for the challenge definitely if it's in my kitchen I will eat it so for the next two days all I want you to do is get all this stuff out of the house and then we can start to put it, some better stuff into the house okay so let's clean out that kitchen